Hello, and welcome back to SMT5. So, last time we defeated the leader of Bethel, and, well, I guess this time we need to figure out what's next. There are a lot of people who we just got introduced to, and a lot of them have their own designs upon the world, so, uh, yeah, let's go figure out what's going on with that. But before we do, we've got three people in here to speak to. These are the only three new ones we'd speak to apart from two that are in the Tokyo Diet Building. I'm assuming that the ones in the Diet Building aren't as important because they're the ones from the DLC, as in I recognize the spots where their um, speech bubble is, so I'm assuming they don't have a lot to speak to us about that we can't speak to them later about, but these three um, just popped up after we went into that council meeting, so I just want to check that we got all the knowledge we need to get. So, hello. Yes. After Armageddon forced the myriad gods of Japan to expend their powers and go into hiding, the Japanese branch's strength was depleted, and was therefore in danger of being absorbed. That's why we used the Protofine technology and mass-produced the Awagami model, to prove that we could still fight. Because in Japan, Protofines had been created and deployed as heroes time and again, uh, time and time again, for as long as anyone can remember. Okay. So, protofines have been created and deployed as heroes time and time again. So, basically, like, a ton of demons are being just mass-produced here? I wonder how that works. I would assume that you probably need Magatsuhi to make that work, because that's kind of the in-game energy source. So, I'd assume that... Well, I'm trying to think where you get Magatsuhi from. Like, killing demons? Hmm, I wonder how that's going to work. Anyway... Or, you know, killing humans as well. So yeah, where do you get your power source? Anyway, hello. Yes? Hmm. Oh, you're curious about why it's called Bethel. Let's see, if I remember right, it's the name of, of a location mentioned in the Old Testament of the Bible. It apparently means House of God. And turns out, the House of God is full of angels. Big surprise, right? Hmm, cool. So this is obviously a little bit for people who haven't read, um like the Bible, or don't quite remember all of their teachings from the Bible, and it's just saying like, hey, that's why it's named Bethel, you get it now? There, there, there's not a great secret to it, it's just a group full of angels. But, yeah, that's kind of neat, it's a nice little uh, reference. Speaking of which... Sounds uh, like that Yakumo broke in again. The logs de suggest he definitely found out about Bethel's joint summit, but I take it he didn't show up there himself. Glad to hear he didn't cause any trouble. But don't relax yet, he's definitely watching for our next move. Though, after watching that fiasco, he might just be gloating. Seeing Bethel so divided is probably exactly what he wants. Hmm. I wonder whether there's another path through the game where he does interrupt. That's kind of what's implied there. Oh, talking of Bethel and Abdiel, um, we need to just move this uh, analyze off of our screen. So, there we go. That's what we were fighting. Um, a lot of the power budget appears to have gone into strength and magic, like, equally. Hmm. And I assume that's why vitality and agility are a little bit low there, so... Dunno. Wasn't actually that difficult a fight, but I suppose I'm comparing it to the DLC, which is kind of unfair, because the DLC is, in its nature, optional, so... Uh, they really want you to be able to progress through that fight, because it's very much not optional. <laughs> anyway. Um... Hello, Director. Now then, I will go over our plans once more. Good, I could use a recap. As I stated earlier, the Japanese branch will become its own entity, separate from Bethel. And in order to save Tokyo, we are going to take God's throne. Makes sense so far? If there's anything you aren't clear on, now would be the time to ask. Regarding the War of the Gods, the Empyrean, the throne, or perhaps creation itself, I will explain in full detail. Well, that would be a first. Oh, um, you meant it. Okay, what is the War of the Gods? Ever since time out of mind, the gods would do battle for the right to rule the world. Before the Creator reigned supreme, the throne belonged to Baal, god of the harvest. And even before that, it was held by Ra, the sun god. Every god who assumes the throne obtains its vast power enough to reshape the world however they see fit. As such, many a god has fallen in pursuit of that power. Regarding the war of the gods, the Empyrean, the throne, or perhaps creation itself, I will explain in full detail. 
Hmm. Okay, that's an interesting way of trying to move all of the religions into one cohesive story. Because obviously the problem with having, you know, ten or so religions all being true is that you get into the bit of, well, this bit contradicts this bit, which contradicts this bit. But if what you're saying is, whichever ruling god had control of the throne decided how the world was, the contradictions start to go away because it's like, if Ra was in charge, then the Egyptian view on things happened to be true. If Baal was in charge, I actually don't know where Baal is from, but that one is, you know, that version of things would be true. If Odin was in charge, the Norse version of things would be true. You get what I'm saying? So that's a very interesting way of doing it. And then they're essentially saying the most current or the current ruler um, was the creator or God, presumably the Christian God. So um, that's why that version of things is currently like the truth. But if somebody else was to take over, then that's the truth. Although I suppose right now you could argue that Lucifer is it like his version of things is the truth. Although because we think this game is following from three and the only ending from three that makes sense is the one where um uh the one where the demi fiend sides with Lucifer, that would mean that the demi fiend is currently in charge, or his rules were currently in charge, which is interesting. Anyway, uh, I'm sure actually the DLC might touch upon that very slightly, but um, yeah. What is the Empyrean? The throne of creation lies at the pinnacle of Empyrean heaven, or simply the Empyrean, as it has become known. Makes sense. That is where the creator would be now, were he not ousted by Lucifer, as was claimed. Yeah, so that's what I was just saying. Lucifer would now be the person in charge. Considering our fusion into a Nahobino, the claim is likely valid. Yep, okay. Only Nahobino are allowed in the Empyrean's sacred space. As such, none have entered thus far. But you, however, can. Do not fear, I won't let you go it alone. I intend to become a Nahobino as well. Oh, do you now? Regarding the war of the gods, the Empyrean, the throne, or perhaps creation itself, I will explain in full detail. Okay, what is the throne? The throne of creation exists to prove one's dominion over the earth. Whoever assumes the throne may determine the world's laws and inner workings, much like how the creator established his own order. Before the Creator, many other gods fought viciously over the throne, and hence the right to rule the world. And in order to save Tokyo, we must do the same. Okay. Regarding the war of the gods... Yes, yes. The... Uh, what is a Nahobino? A Nahobino is a god in the fullest, or truest sense. Our original form, if you will. Okay. In ancient times, we were all Nahobino, but when the Creator took the throne, he demanded there be no other gods before him, and diabolized us all. That is a fantastic word. He accomplished this by spiriting our knowledge away. Without the knowledge needed to shape a functioning world, we ceased to be divine, and were left to contend with our fallen nature. Our knowledge was sealed within the Garden of Eden. Mortals soon ate of its fruit, binding all knowledge to their souls and all who came after. Ever since the fall of man, demons have vied to steal the souls of humankind and restore their former selves, but they were doomed to fail. Long it was futile to seek out our knowledge and reclaim our former glory, but with Armageddon fulfilled, the rules have yet again changed. Aogami's true name is Susanoo. As proto-fiend, he was created to inherit the Amatsukami's full power. I myself provided the template. Woohoo! I did say in a previous ep uh, episode, Susano, it was going to be important. I was also told that that was not how you pronounced uh, the name. Um, I, I believe it's something... I, now, I'm going to completely butcher it, but... Um, there was a character in 3... In, sorry, in Persona 3. 
not three, Persona 4, whose name was Ku. So, and apparently that same kind of O sound is meant to be at the end of Suzanne uh, No. So it's meant to be like Susan No, something like that. It, it's apparently not quite right, but anyway. Um, essentially, I said that they were going to be important. Turns out they are. That's kind of cool. And as I've said before, I am Sukoyomi of the Amatsukami. Yeah. It is my personal mission to become a Nahobino and rescue Tokyo from the mouth of danger. But to do that, I require your aid. Understood. So will he be the one to create the world, being that only the Nahobino can do it? Yeah, but it's not the Nahobino. There are many Nahobino. He just said it. Um, many people can now become them. It could very well end up being him. But what if I were to say that you, Yuzuru Atsuta, also have that potential? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, he is human, so he, he's going to be one of the more descended from one of the mortals who partake, who partook of the fruit of the Garden of Eden. So that makes sense. I do. After my time spent observing you, I am all but certain you are the one holding my knowledge. Now that not quite expected, but very cool. What? Yes, if you so choose, you too can harness the power of a Nahobino and recreate the world. Will you not do so in service of your home? But that would mean I'm the same as him? Hmm, you don't sound entirely happy about that. If I really do have that power, enough to save Tokyo, I'll do it. I'll become a Nahobino. You know, that sounds like he's, um, you know, the anime character reluctantly taking the power. Interesting. Hmm. Your resolve is admirable. Excellent. We now have two Nahobino on our side. Atsuta and you. I also love the way how Koshimizu is immediately like, all right, matters resolved. Now we have two. He's just like, the pieces are on the board. Don't need to worry about all of the mixed feelings. This is just the way things are now. From here, we strike at Bethel headquarters, then make our way to the Imperium post haste. Mm hmm. Hey, uh, guys, you think I could be a Nahubino too? And also, it just popped into my head. This is obviously linking into the Lamu stuff from earlier in the game. You know, the reason why he wanted to be with that one particular uh, girl was because that was the person who had his knowledge so he could become a Nahobino, and we immediately struck him down before even realizing what was happening. So, that's kind of interesting. My condolences, Dazai, but you do not appear to bear the knowledge of an Amatsukami. Interesting phrasing. So that's Amatsukami. Not, he doesn't bear the knowledge of anyone, just of the Amatsukami. Oh. Don't be disheartened. I sense yet another's knowledge resting within you. I think I have an idea of who that might be, just judging upon who he spent the most time with in the game. No way! However, only its owner can identify it. So I suggest you stay on guard. A demon may be lying in wait for you. With that said, I must begin investigating a way to reach the Empyrean. I'm fairly certain the secret lies in Ueno given the density of Bethel's security there. So, I will concentrate our branch's efforts on that. I will contact you the moment I turn up a solid answer. Until then, please bear with me. Okay. Well, let's speak to everybody. Does I? <sighs> Wonder whose knowledge I've got inside me. Does that mean I can be a Nahobino too? I don't know if I'll ever be a Nahobino, but... I still want to protect everyone, so I'll fight with all I've got. <sighs> I'll never be able to do it myself, but Master Abdiel might be able to. Yeah, I kind of thought that might be who he would fuse with. Just judging by how they've had all these chats through the game. <sighs> so I'm director of Koshimizu's. Uh, somehow I still can't believe it. Yeah. But if it's really true, then I won't hesitate. Tokyo is my home, and I'll do everything I can to protect it. Fair enough. Hello. Listen. Since you form a Nahobino with Awagami, that is my brother Suzano, then you two are like family to me. To our mutual success, hmm? Okay. So the Proto Fiends 
is also his brother. So they created him, but he is his brother? Hey, what do you think I should do now? That's got some interesting connotations, but we'll move on. I can't decide anything on my own. I, I, I have seen. Yes, you quite often come to us and say, what should I do? I have no clue. I can't decide anything on my own. Uh, see exhibit A, what's on the screen. I guess I really do need Master Abdiel. Uh, say, uh, do you know where she is? I know where we last saw her. Well, let's be honest, she's probably at the summit. Oh, alright, let's go see. What, right now, the two of us? I don't really think she wants to see us. Last time she tried to kill us, but okay. That's, if that's what you want to do. Oh, hello. Master Abdiel, are you alright? I lost to the Japanese branch. It no longer matters what happens to me. That's not true! You're not done yet, Master Abdiel! You saw what happened. Even an Archangel is no match for a Nahobino. Then maybe you just have to become a Nahubino too. I'll find the human who has your knowledge, and I'll bring them to you. That won't be necessary. He's already here. But I... They're already here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Huh? It is you, Ichiro Dazai. You are my knowledge. Me? I'm your knowledge? Wait, that means you can use me to become a Nahobino! The power of the Nahobino is forbidden. As the Archangel, I must not defy the condemnation. But if you became a Nahubino, then you could... Well, time for us to go. Oh, look at the shadow. If your prayer is indeed for harmony, you must bring that about yourself. I just noticed it on the shadow. That was not the creator. That shadow, I'm fairly certain, I'm just moving the camera here, I'm fairly certain that shadow was Lucifer. And the voice sounded very similar to Lucifer from 3, which would make sense because it was recently, I don't believe it was voiced on the original release, but it was, it was voiced on the remaster that I played, which came out not long before this game did. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So she's being spoken to by Lucifer, but she's gonna think it's probably the creator, potentially, which means that she might do it? That would be interesting. Also, what does he get out of this? Does he just want everybody to fight? Hmm. Okay. A moment, please. I always thought there was something uh, about Prime Minister... I always thought there was something about Prime Minister Koshimizu, but I never expected he'd actually be a god, a real god, right out of our myths. That's pretty impressive, right? We're colleagues with a god. Ah, oh, what a shame. I'd love to brag about it, but there's nobody else I could tell. Well, 
I'm glad that that's your biggest concern right now. Hey. Hey? Wait a second. Can you hear me? Uh, I can. But you can't be who I think you are because you're dead. I can hear you. Oh, thank goodness. Listen, we need to talk. It's serious. I would imagine so. But I can't really tell you here. Would you mind meeting me on the roof? I'll go on ahead. Oh, I think that might be Tao. But she's dead. Well, that doesn't add up. That doesn't add up at all. Well, uh, I, what I was going to do is I was going to check the map and see if anybody else wants to speak to us, but I kind of want to find out what's going on with that. Let's just check some. So, Jozoji, uh, nobody wants to speak with us, which I assume means nobody wants to speak with us anywhere else. That's where we currently are, Shinagawa Station, nobody wants to speak to us at the high school. I know these guys want to speak to us, but they're in the DLC locations, which probably means they're not that important. Nobody in the DAT maps want to speak to us. Oh, apart from um, Atsu, what's his name? Atsuwa's um, uh, sister. I think that's who wants to speak to us there. Interesting. And then obviously the DLC characters want to speak to us here. Although, uh, bottom right, that is just a random demon who wants to speak to us. Hmm. Well, we don't really need to speak to them. Um... Okay, if there was a lot of people, I might have gone, but I'm very interested in what's happening here. I do love how peaceful it is on the world map. It's very different than the rest of the game. Hello. I heard from an angel the other day, ho. This Tokyo is just a big fake, and soon it's all gonna be gone, ho. But this Tokyo is full of fun and goodies, ho. I kinda don't want it to disappear. Okay. Anyone else around here? Oh, we got somebody down at this side. Hello. Thanks to all this stuff going on, our employee cafeteria is closed. Indefinitely. Might as well just work from home at this rate. Oh, that that's just... no. Oh, I can't see how, you know, everybody could just work from home. That'd be crazy. Yeah, completely impossible can't possibly see how that could happen. Anyway, hello. Look, a solid ghostly figure just fade into that high-rise apartment complex. The residence, whatever. I swear, it was right there. Huh? There was never a building like that there. Are you sure you're not just confused? Hmm. So, they, some people remember and some people don't remember the buildings that are disappearing. It's interesting. I'm just checking up here. Don't think anybody wants to uh, speak to us up here. Oh, no, never mind. Right up at the top. Next week, we've got a report that this... That, next week, we've got a report at that sky thing. Sky tower? I can never remember. Even though it's pretty famous. Or was it? So the sky tower is disappearing. Or has disappeared. Okay, so... P um, part of the illusion of Tokyo being here is everyone knew about everything that was here. But now that it's all gone, they're starting to forget that it was here because that was implanted in their mind that it was here. That's a little messed up. Anyway, to our dorm. That is Tao. But you're dead. That's definitely a dead person. Sorry, I just showed up out of nowhere. That music note it played really worries me. It played just a lit or that little trill that it did. You know, the something is definitely not right here. Something's a little bit weird. I thought you were dead. Yeah, you're not wrong there. Uh-huh. 
And yet... The Tao Isonokami you knew did die. Okay. But her soul was reborn by a power beyond description, forming who I am now. As the goddess of creation, my new purpose is to guide the Nahobino to his throne. Oh. Take a good look. Tokyo is fading like the setting sun. Its time is almost up. Before it's too late, I want you to reach the Empyrean and recreate the world. You risked your life for me and Sahori without even a moment's hesitation. To us, you're a true savior. And in every sense of the word. What power I have shall be yours. And together, we can forge a new future. Until then, will you let me fight at your side? That's all I ask of you. Hmm. Well... I'm going to say yes, and the reason I'm going to say yes, or two options by the way are nod and hesitate, not yes and no, but I'm going to nod because I think this is our reward for past actions. We deliberately made a choice during the Lamu fight to try and save them both, and now she trusts us because we tried to save them both. So I'm going to nod because I'm going to take this as like a, a game giving us something. However, I don't know whether this locks us into something. Anyway, let's nod. Then let us go forward together. Let us. We both know God's miracle is dissipating. Tokyo and everyone in it will vanish without a trace. If this stirs your heart even a little, make for the throne and create a new world, one according to your vision. And to foster that, I'll escort you to Dot, where the path to the Empyrean lies. Well, let's go. Okay. Now, I can't help but notice we're going without telling anyone else. This seems like it might end up being a problem. Like, we didn't tell the director where we were going? Hmm. Ooh. This world looks very familiar. I'll get to that in a minute. A new realm of Dot lies before us. One that leads to the Empyrean. The path to the Empyrean. It has also been called the Temple of Eternity. Long before the first human being, the entity who oversaw this world created a bridge to the throne. However, Bethel Headquarters has hidden the keys to access it, and so the path remains closed. There are three keys in total. It used to be that Bethel guarded them for safekeeping, but now, the branches that possess them think only of their own gain. So the first thing we need to do is get those keys ourselves. Perhaps a protofiend could detect the energy of divine instruments such as these. I am indeed picking up sources of incredible power. Three in total. Not to mention hordes of demons around them. I say we'd better hurry up and find them. I'm sure you can guess how many Nahobino aspirants are after the keys themselves, so keep an eye out. Quest, accepted quest, the three keys. Panagia Tao joined your party. Hmm. Let's be off then. Oh, that demon. Hey, it's you! <laughs> wow, what are the odds? Seriously.
Seriously. Seriously. Thanks for helping me out back then. Gosh, I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh, and she's only joining us because we saved her in the past. I imagine that there's going to be a lot of quest lines that are going to reward us in this section of the game by the looks of it. But whatever. I see you've got a different girl with you this time. What's up with that? I don't know, she came back from the dead and teleported us here? It's a whole thing. As if a goddess like her could ever replace me. <laughs> Come on, you know I'm all you really need. Seriously. Seriously. Because you and I, we're... Ugh, never mind, forget it. Um, you have blue hair. We have blue hair. Are we related in some, in some kind of way? Are you a... What's it? Uh, the... Are you in the same group as us? Anyways, count me in. Someone's gotta keep you out of trouble, right? <laughs> totally. Totally. Alright. Well, we've been here before, as in, in this situation, us and her. Um, now, what was I gonna say about what this world looks like? I mean, you already know what I'm gonna say. It looks a lot like SMT3. I mean, obviously it's a different perspective, but a lot of this is very similar. And the blocks in the sky, which have been in other places, are very similar to a fight near the end of SMT3. So again, this is very much the game saying, you remember SMT3? But also, look at that light oh, over there. That light over there is definitely from the DLC. So I wonder what's, who I wonder who's there. I'm trying to think back to going into my mind palace. Okay. I believe I know who the next menorah belongs to. And no, it's not Dante from the Devil May Cry series, although I think he might have had one uh, in the game. But uh, I think it might be Beelzebub next? Oh wait, no, I think it's Trumpeter, then Beelzebub. I might be missing one in between. Anyway. Stay alert. We should open up that leyline fount just in case. That way we can head back from there. Oh, I didn't know he would do that. That's cool. So I guess if you miss the first one in an area, he also makes you do it. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's do a save. Uh, and then we will jump into Cadaver's Hollow. Because apparently there's new stuff here. Welcome. Make yourself at home. All right, what have you got? So you got Ambrosia, large set HP, and Muscle Drink, neither of which we necessarily need. We don't have a lot of money to spend anyway. Let's see a new one in here. I think there was like a new gem in here. Uh, yeah, so there was, I think one of these gems was new, but not really that important. And then new essences, so we got Horus's essence, okay. And Narcissus's essence. And Oya Matsumi's essence. And Succubus's essence. Okay. Need Nothing we really need to worry about there. Do you anything to sell? Need oh, wait, anything. we do. That was actually sellables. Okay. To sell. I'll take my 4,000. <laughs> Don't you worry about I need it. Anything else. Now, I did Which actually has... look at the World of Shadows before I started the episode. There's nothing that we can make right this second that's very useful. So we're going to leave it be uh, just until we earn a little bit more money. Um, I do want to change up our party slightly, just because we have the party we had at the end of last time. Also go into here. So we've got the three keys, Austerity, Benevolence, and Harmony. Um, and there were also three keys, again, I'm going to say it, it's going to sound like a broken record in SMT3. So, I would imagine it's a similar concept here. Ooh, Tau. Yeah, we should have a look at what Tau does. She's level 60. Light of Order. Moderate HP recovery for all allies, cancels debuffs and raises all stats one tier for three turns. Oh. Welcome to the party, New Widun. Now, she does have one weakness. Like, one major weakness right now. That's her only heal. But if we got her another heal, that's pretty good. I want to find her another heal. We can probably do that. That's an easy task. Alice, you're at the party for Hydra currently, I think. Although, were we using Malok over Hydra? I think we were, but I think I'm still happy with Hydra. 
Yeah, let's go with that for just now. Uh, actually, now that we have Tal, uh, let me just see whether we've got somebody who has a heal uh, in terms of an essence, the one that we're not going to use otherwise. Welcome. Just because it would be useful, you know? That's the kind of thing that might be useful. Uh, not miracles right now. Essence fusion? Tal? Then we're looking for somebody who has... In terms of skills, so you have a heal, but you're obviously not the right person because you're too good. We're looking for Medea Rama, ideally. I think, anyway. Uh, me Patra, me Patra. I would take Medea. Uh, Golden Apple. Oh, Golden Apple actually costs more by in default than um. The move there. I don't think it costs more in practice, but that's interesting. It costs more. Um, we really don't have any heals on anyone. Medea for Parvati. I, and we get Bowl as well. Yeah. Uh, what are your affinities? Yeah, we're probably... Well, your affinities are okay, but we're probably not going to use you for them. Right. I would like Light of Order, of course. I would like that. I would like that. I would like this. I'd like... Actually, I'm going to reorder. I want that. 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 And then heal uh, Pleroma. That for just now seems pretty good for us. Yeah. Um, that, that seems very good. Also, lore. Once cherished as the saint of Bethel, Tal Isono Kami was forced to watch helplessly as a close friend perished before her eyes. At that moment, the voice of a higher being spoke unto her. Awakening the goddess within. Even after her divine transfiguration, she appears to have retained her memories. However, she has cast off her former personality and no longer acts as it as she once did as a human. How okay. is this? Dual fuser. There we go. That works for me. Okay. Return. So healer problem has been sorted. We have our new healer. Uh let me just check something here. How much I think it's one. 3-6 on a Doom? Uh, 1 2 six for Golden Apple. So, Tao's one does cost more. However, Tao also has much more mana. So, that, yeah, that's, that's going to be fine. Okay. Cool. So, we'll go with that. I'm still holding off on our big upgrade until we find another, um, another skill point. As another skill slot. But, uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Now... Um, it has actually been pointed out. Uh, somebody did some maths in our um, in the comment section, basically talking about what the best way of doing damage is um, when we use our Magatsuhi. And it was like, it was crit versus uh, Frykugel, and basically uh, Frykugel uh, came out um, ahead most of the time. I think it was if we got all of our crits off, it would it was slightly above. But obviously, crits have other problems in that you could miss a, cr a crit. Um, you could crit without having um, the crit buff on, which then means that it it's less valuable comparatively. Um, but what I took from that uh, bit of maths was that our party's damage is not being amplified. Wow, you're loud. Our party's damage is not being amplified as much as it used to be because, well, um, we're because we're using like low level spells. So at some point soon, we're going to have to upgrade our spells, at which point the calculations all get thrown out. But I mean, we were using Alice as by far our highest damage dealer, and she's do she was doing two medium dark attacks. That's not really very much for this point in the game, right? Um, we could have been doing severe dark attacks or something. Like, that's what we ideally want to be ending up with, but hey, we're, we're not quite there yet. But the next couple of upgrades, that's what I want to see. I want to see like a big push up. And having a level 60 person with insane healing is definitely the way to go. Let's want to have a look around. I don't even know which way to go, really. Oh, we could go anywhere. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that one's the DLC. And then, yeah, we got a lot of places to go. Okay, so I guess we just choose a direction. Oh, hello. Yeah. Ueno Station, entrance to northeast known as... Tohoku uh, area. A lot of lines head north from there. Okay, thanks for the glory. 151. Right, um, where is the app? So we've got an abscess, which is 
this direction. Apparently. It's not that far away in this direction. So I would say we just jump off and run that way. Hmm. Let's try it. Yeah, let's save again as well. Just because I found the, um, uh, the meme man. And I think it's probably time to go. Right. Uh, jump. Oh, also, um, apologies for the little bit of, like, glitching in that previous cutscene. I have tried to figure out what it is. Um, I'd like to ask you something. It doesn't show up very consistently, so it's difficult to troubleshoot. Uh, hopefully it doesn't show up again. It hasn't shown up as much, so I guess it's just the odd scene. Ho yeah, hopefully it doesn't show up in, like, the final cutscene or something. That would be horrible. Anyway, Alpex, I'd like to ask you something. As a Nahobino, we can reach the Empyrean and seat ourselves upon the throne. Yes. Doing so will allow you to orchestrate the laws of the universe. In other words, you can manifest an entirely new world. That isn't a question. So, should we reach the throne? What exactly do you intend to do? Ooh. So these are the three I've unlocked, I guess, right now? A world of order, a world of potential, and a world for humans. I'm not sure yet. I see. That's perfectly all right, though. There's no need to rush your answer. What say we search for one together? Okay, so this is the game just trying to prompt you into being like, here are some of your options. Do any of these sound appealing to you? This is rather strange, though. I feel as if something inside me is driving me forward somehow. It's not the same as the responsibilities that a protofiend feels upon creation, either. This is something that developed much later. It almost feels like it's come from a place of higher power than Bethel. Ah, my apologies for speaking so strangely. Please forget my nonsense. As always, I know my purpose is to lend you my strength so you can carry out your will. So we now have two people who are with us, who have been touched by a higher power than Bethel and both of them want to help us because we have Tao and we have Awagami that means that there's someone we're yet to meet who I think might be Lucifer okay let's carry on I want to ensure that you create your own destiny without a single regret for this I will do anything Hmm. Okay. Oh, these are Loop uh, Garou. They're level 54. We can capture them. Let's do that. Immediately, let's talk to one. You started talking to the demon. The demon is pretending to ignore you. What will you do? Call out to them. My, are you that intent on my company? Well, I suppose I could oblige you. I must say, your hair is exceptionally long. Um, thank you. Beautiful, isn't it? Oui. Oui, c'est bon. I wish I could preserve such beauty forever. Aha, I shall kill you and immortalize your image in death, yes? Oh, uh, that sounds bad. Ow. Ow. Please don't kill my demons. Hi. How curious. Something courses through me in my very blood. Why do you suppose that is? Um. Why indeed? <clears throat> Do you suppose I might find the truth if I joined your company? Yes. How can I believe that solely on your words? Let us see if you can stir my blood further first. Well then, how about 10,000 Maka Sivu play? Very well. How about one, about Bam of Life 1 Sivu play? Very well. Would you oblige me with a tremendous amount of your H, please? Civil play. Very well. Oui. Merci beaucoup. I am beast 
Loop Garo, let us march onward together. All right. They committed to having French in pretty much everything he did. That's cool. Well, I mean, we can read his lore now and figure out why he's always speaking in French. I assume it's because he's based off of a French thing. But anyway. Uh, also, we had just barely enough money to make that happen. New Analyze. So when, when we get here, he has Souffel de Clare. So a severe electric attack, but he has no magic stats, so it's kind of crazy it did that much damage. Heavy physical, and then 2 2 4 heavy physical attacks. Okay, fair enough. Oh, yeah, what's his lore? Um, a type of werewolf originating in France. It appears human during the day, but transforms into its beauty form at night when it has been known to viciously attack humans. I said beauty, I meant to say beastly, as of course that's what the word says. Um, they are said to have once been ordinary human beings. However, however, upon turning into a loop garou, one cannot regain their humanity ever again. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Oh, let's head in here, and oh, let's have a look at R1. R1 has a lot more strength than the base one. Okay, that's cool. What does it learn? So, Critical Aura, Fizz Pleroma, which is nice, and then Nihil Claw. Two to three f heavy physical attacks? That's really good. What's Madness Nails? Two to four heavy physical attacks. Oh, well this is less good, because I think Madness Nails is better. Hmm. The lower the HP of all allies, the more damage and HP recovered through skills for one turn. Hmm. Okay, well I'm going to sub you out because I don't think you're as good as Hydra, but you're very interesting. Right, um, let's do a save and let's head back out again. We definitely need money because we have no money now. We have 760, but hey, it's a new party member. Uh, I believe the other ones we had to fuse would always cost us money if we wanted a good one, so yeah, we're going to hold off on them until we have money. Right, now I can just run past these guys. I'm not too worried about exploring until I get my, um, yeah, until I get, what's it called? Yeah, until I get the abscess. Is the abscess in the other direction, do you reckon? What are you? I don't want to go anywhere near you, um, alien. Looks like alien from Alien vs. Predator. I've seen something. It's that freaky demon lady you fought a while back. Noir? Listen, what do you say we get out of here? Like, right now? Ugh, how can you stay so calm at a time like this? Honestly! Oh, you better be careful, alright? I'm serious. Like, extra super mega ultra careful, okay? Okay. <laughs> it's Noir. And... What do you have to say about it? Ah... The prodigal child himself. Perhaps you could indulge me in a short chat? You needn't worry. I'm alone. You certainly share your humanity with Yakumo. But do you share his beliefs? Do you agree with his aims? Hmm. To get rid of all demons. It's an intriguing concept. It seems difficult to do in practice. Let's say I do. A most pleasant surprise. You are more perceptive than I gave you credit for. That man doesn't matter. It's you I have questions for. Ooh. Which side of this conflict do you stand on? Are you for the humans or the demons? I suppose I side with the humans, but surely a goddess can be partial to her own creations, even if demoted to demonhood. So her, Nahobino, has to be Yakumo, right? Or her knowledge has to be in Yakumo. That just makes sense. And you aim to seize the throne of creation? Well, as a means to an end, certainly. To take it simply for power's sake would be a touch petty. Don't you think? Yakumo and I share a vision. 
It's why I lend him my power and why I strive to see his world come to fruition. <laughs> Poor Yakumo's zealotry does tend to leave a bad impression. But what nobility in his soul, in his aims. As far as I can tell, he doesn't even trust his fellow man. A most shallow appraisal, my dear. Yakumo loves his fellow man perhaps more than any other. He rejects humans who have given up, precisely because he believes in humanity's potential for strength. Do you understand, child? Hmm. I can understand him. Yes. I rather thought you might. You and he are alike in many ways. Those of the Yakumo family have always been officers of the law, you see. Would-be agents of justice, living to protect the meek. His mother was a medium. She helped those tormented by dark spirits. However, one such sufferer was seduced by a demon's promises, and slaughtered Yakumo's entire family. Hate the crime, not the criminal, as they say. But the platitude rings quite hollow when the criminal has no desire, no capacity for redemption. If violence and evil are all they know, all they will ever be, then what can a man of justice do but strike them down? Pretty words have never been enough to save the world. What are you doing, Nua? Uh, I think she's trying to recruit us. Ah, oh, here he is. So ends our idle chat, then. Farewell. Farewell? I don't think we made any choices there. Perhaps the will of mankind is stronger than I knew. But we may have set some events into motion. I'm not sure if we would go with him, because I'm not entirely sure I like his um, reject a portion of humanity plan, but, you know... In terms of can we understand it, do we agree with some of his aims? Potentially, yeah. Not all of them, but some oh, of them. That could have been bad, huh? Totally. Totally. But you know what? That demon woman? I think she might be in love with that human. No, wait. Maybe she loves all of humanity, and that man is supposed to be a symbol of it or something. I don't know. Hmm. Either way, it's kind of complicated. But that was love for sure. It's like how I love when you get all upset. <laughs> you know? Just like that. But I... Yeah, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I was going to check out something about her. Um. Oh, I need to go into Analyze. Yeah. It was like, uh, wait, she was definitely in our analyze, right? At one point. Oh, uh, yeah, this one. This one, check lore. Ancestor of the Tengu and the Amano Jaco. Um, okay. The famed warrior Susano once allowed his tempestuous spirit to build up to such an intense degree that he vomited her out as a result. So she is our vomit? Okay, sure. Unless it's like the Adam and Eve story, you know? Born from one, so she's our Eve. Which would be better than she's our vomit. Anyway. Halt! I recognize you not. Under whose legion do you serve? This is King Vasuki's base of operations. Until Lord... Shiva ceases his austerities. The key shall remain ours. Not even a Nahobino can sway us. Alright. Whatever you say, mate. Uh, I think this is the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, for my objective, I think this is the wrong way. But we did learn something about Noir, which is kind of cool. Mm, and they're definitely here looking for, uh, you know, looking to become Nahobino. <laughs> Okay. This way. Let's go. Oh, you want some? Well, do ya? All right, we're gonna go this way. It, it's multitude armed men. We're gonna ignore multitude armed men. And turn right. It's a dead end. Never mind. I'm an expert jumper. 
to our right. I'm fairly certain I saw a me man in here. Uh, I'm wrong, I did not. In fact, this building you can't even enter. There must be a me man around here somewhere. No? Maybe this way? It said there's some me man radar in my head to go off. I'm like, me man, me man, me man. Nope, nothing. Right. It's interesting music. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Old wordplay joke say. Oh, sorry. Iriya no Kishimojin. Iriya, location name. In fact, we there right now. I'm going to guess that joke probably didn't translate so well from uh, Japanese. <laughs> that would be my guess. <laughs> I'm sure it was very funny at the time. Here you go. Yeah, yeah, you can say here here we go a million times if you want to. Um, it doesn't mean I'm actually going to uh, go over there and click on you. Right. So the abscess is up there, so we need to get up there somehow. Oh, a glory. These are usually at the end of paths, so I assume that this is not the right way to the abscess then. Hmm. Yeah, might be the other, we might go in that way. But then it's a long way round, you know? Let's try to see if there's a way up. It doesn't look like there is, does it? Unless it's here? Nah, it's way too sharp. Okay, let's go back. I'm not gonna give up till I find uh, the right way to go, however I'm gonna save. Right. Uh, and then we're gonna try going past that guy that we saw there who was like, do not pass. I suppose um, Nuwa was in the way and it does kind of, I assume, want you to see Nuwa early on in the area. So it would make sense if Nuwa is on the way to the abscess. Yeah, I suppose that all lines up. Also, I just realized we're like the absolute perfect level because the first enemies we meet are level 54 in this area. That's really impressive because we haven't done a lot of grinding in this game, right? So it's really impressive that we came into the area at pretty much the perfect um, level. I'm pretty sure this is Hindu demon territory. Oh, yeah, definitely is. And by that, I mean it's impressive by the developers that they like timed it up so that your XP would hit that at roughly that point. Although we did the DLC, so that kind of goes into my DLC was um, was um, designed to be in the game thought. Because if the DLC was, divine, was designed to be in the game, the XP from the DLC would be designed so that you hit certain points without needing to grind. Hmm. Anyway. Their leader's supposed to be this demon named Shiva, but I heard this other guy, Vasuki's the one running the show right now. Vasuki's like a big old snake or something, isn't he? Like Yamato no Orochi. Bet you he's a schemer. Never trust a snake, right? Totally. Totally. Yeah, okay, so she's just giving us like a rundown on these people, which is nice. No salvation befits this world more aptly than destruction. Lord Shiva has spoken thus. Okay, and we're seeing all the demons that we met through the game that match uh, the same, like, domain. Hello. Yeah. Lord Shiva has begun the rites of, conjure of conjuring the Rudra Astra. Thus, for the moment, King... Vasuki shall guide us in his stead. Okay. Lots of money here. Ooh, we don't want to go down. We kind of want to go, like, along. Never mind, we're going down. Run, 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 run. Just want to check where we're going next. Yeah, like, up. I guess we'll grab the treasure while we're here. This is a cool effect, as you run along, you see it, like, changing as we walk out over there. That's really cool. Also, Awagami Type Zero Essence. What is this? Resistances are trash, as usual, but... Severe strength-based almighty attack to one foe, greater effect when landing at critical. Weak physical attack to all foes, ignores resistance, pierces always critical. Almighty Pleroma, great mana soul, and enduring soul. Ooh, that, that, that would survive and fully heal once per battle. 
well, we know how good that was because Whittle Goat saved us in one of the recent battles, so yeah. Wonder if we can get another Whittled Goat and then start stacking these. Okay, what did we get? Soma. That's actually really good. Uh, hello, Boa. Can you hear that? The voices of humans turned husks even after death. I am traveling this land to soothe those soulless ghosts. I am Loa, spirit of ghosts. I ask for your cooperation. I approve of your willingness to help, then I wholeheartedly accept your offer. In order to allow these soulless ghosts to pass on, I will require Balm of Life. Bring two to start. Have you gathered the Balm of Life? Yes. Yes, these are indeed the Balm of Life I asked for. Now these ghostly thoughts should return to their souls and disappear. You've done well. Take this as a reward. Uh, we got a bead chain. That's not really a great, you know, deal, but okay. Black Rider leveled up. Masuku Casual won. Uh, man, not going in my move list. However, I still do not have enough Bam of Life. Should you bring me more, I shall reward you again. Hello? Okay, that's fine. Blah, 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 blah. No. So that's, that's Bam of Life for B chains. I'm not entirely sure I like that deal at all. Okay. Let's head this way. I'll take the 35,000 XP, don't get me wrong. Beyond that, I don't think we need to do anything with this. There must be a way... Ah, yes. Here's our oh, way you up. Want some? Well, do so let's head up this way. We are, like, well into this territory. And there's all sorts of flying and horrible creatures around here for us to ignore. Um... Just keep running. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Just run. Straight line. Abscess. You can't catch me. You're way too slow. Gotcha. So it looks like it's going to be an abscess per area. Like whatever uh, mythology it is. You can't be that strong. 63! Oh no, you're incredibly strong. Two to five weak force attacks, two to three heavy physical attacks, and then reflects magic. You're weak to fire, ele electricity, and light, however, which is a lot. Uh, what are we weak to? Okay, it's electric. I had a horrible feeling it was force. Light of order would be really good. I don't want to use it yet. I want to use the mold. Cool. Uh, lower defense. Uh, or maybe... Oh, it reflects physical. Oh, you're awful then. Let's change you. You're, you're just straight up awful. <laughs> I just realized there's no point in having you in the party if it reflects that. Um, so physical is reflected. What are you weak to again? Fire, electricity, and light. Okay, but it's only physical damage, so Nua might be okay. So you're hitting on electric. But you're weak to force. So you're actually just terrible. Malok? You're hitting on dark. Shurnabog is hitting on dark. Kukulain is hitting on force. Dune hits on light, but I don't really want to bring a Dune in for this fight. Black right, um, yeah. Black Rider, weak to force. <laughs> Loop Garou, your electricity, I mean your magic stat sucks, but I mean, do at least hit the enemy <laughs> on the right stat. Which might be the best offer we have. In Alice, it hits the enemy on, with the fire attack on the right stat. Oh, give me an give me an Alice. Yeah, yeah. Change change into Alice. Alice we know can do consistent damage. Let's go. We're also gonna need to switch Hydra, I just realized. Oh no, Hydra has fire breath. Okay, that's fine. And fire Draco Strike. Which one's higher? Your strength or your um other stat? Strength. By far. Alright, use fire Draco Strike. 
We don't have a great way of applying debuffs to this one right now. That's okay. Can I be Veil? Tao hit yet another Hamon. And Alice. A little, uh, actually lower defense. There we go. Agatsuhi maxes. Not worried by that one. Magic reflecting barrier is very annoying given that you're immune to physical. That won't get ref that, that won't get reflected weirdly. Do it. it. Says it won't get reflected. Cool. That's fine. Um, given that we can't hit you with a magic move, it's just a stall turn. Um, light of order. Be still. I will heal you. Fantastic. All stat up. Lower defense. Hydra, um, you're kind of okay, but we can't do anything with you. Is there anything I could do? Not really. I guess I could do a concentrate gem. Just because there's no reason not to. That's reasonable damage. That's annoying. Well, we're gonna guard. Mm. I was thinking I might raise our stats again. <laughs> Let's do that. Maybe a little overkill, but that's fine. Guard. Hydra, guard. It did crit, but that's fine. We had a miss on Alice, which is what matters. Also, I'm very happy. Can you see the flickering at the bottom of the screen there? I'm very happy that we can see that flickering because this gives me a consistent place to go back to to get flickering. So I can now finally test it. Great news. Okay, uh, Ajilal. That's good damage. Tao. Um hit with a Hamon. 423 damage is great. Um, one of those. Hydra. Hit with Fire Draco Strike. Uh, we are then going to use Kanabi Veil. I'm going to change Tao out for Idun. Because that way we can keep her all stat up uh, in a minute. Uh, apart from for a dune er, herself. As you love. And then fire Draco Strike. Good damage. A car Karn's very annoying. But it lets us set up on a dune's turn a little bit. So, I'm going to use this one to just do the Severe Almighty attack. That's huge. Uh, Kanabi Veil. Going to set up a bowl. So we can now overheal. Alice. Lower defense. Hydra. Uh, guard. Why not? That's stupid. Okay. That that falls to, firmly into me into the that stupid camp. <laughs> right, Clotho. Yeah, you're 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 joining the squad. Has a fire move, so it's kind of good as well. Um, uh, set up bowl. Alice, keep the fence lowered. Hydra, use uh, Fire Draco Strike. And then we're going to use Kanabi Veil. Hopefully, Clotho lives on this one. That'd be nice. It's 
Screw you, game. Okay, so that did 300 odd damage to us. So that's actually a little bit too high level for us in theory. I mean, obviously we could beat it, but it is a little higher level than I would like it to be. So there might be somewhere else we could go first. If that is a level 63, it kind of implies that somewhere there's, an, there's you know, something that's a little bit more level appropriate for us to do. Perhaps one of the other ones. Anyway, because everything else is like these things down here, uh, well, down this side, like these, we can't actually see them from this distance, but the ones that were down there are level 54. The, the enemy there is level 63. That's a nine level difference. It must have expected you to do something else to get those levels or to get some of those levels. Anyway, we'll find that out next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.